Hello, and welcome back to the Patrick Screen Tea Podcast. I made an appearance on another podcast called Barda with Bangan a few days ago. It released on May 12th. It's Season 2, Episode 2 of that show. And you can find it on Mixcloud.com slash Barta, B-H-A-R-T-A, with Bangan. B-A-I-N-G-A-N. Um, it was really fun. He's His podcast is based out of India. So we talked a lot about the culture of uh, weed in, in India versus the United States and the way their lockdown has been going. Um, I talked about my sort of first experiences with weed. He asked me a lot of questions about um, its effects over time, and it was it was really good. It was a really good experience. So I highly recommend you go watch that episode and that show because he interviews a bunch of people from various corners of the internet and sort of. Uh, wants to make like an archive type thing of just all these different personalities it's a really cool project so I've been experimenting with live streaming on Twitch recently and it's going pretty well I prefer podcasting but live streaming is a good way to do quick spur of the moment content and since I usually play video games to pass the time anyways I thought that I might as well put a little extra effort in to make a sort of alternative platform for my stuff you can find my Twitch channel at Patrick's Green Tea and uh, I think I mentioned it again at the end of the episode so if you're into live streaming totally check it out for this episode the first part with the skipping rocks on the frozen lake is from the night before and the rest is from the 17th Um, I pull out my guitar later in the episode with the intention of playing but I end up being distracted by what I thought was a drug deal Uh, it's pretty funny to listen to and um, that's it I hope you enjoyed the episode all right. Wait. Just gonna try to break the water. Okay. Nathan, testing breaking ice. I think it's a three, two, one. Oh. Okay. Well, this one. Wait. All right. All right. Do you want to record it? I'm recording right now. Oh. Okay. Just three, two, one, go. Go. Three, two, one, go. Keep going, bro. Keep going. Damn, dude, this is amazing. Has this ever been done? We're throwing huge rocks uh, at a lake, frozen lake, but it's like an inch thick. The lake. I don't. I wonder if the thickness affects any sort of quality of the sound. Oh my god, it's beautiful outside too. Ooh. Hoorah! I'm recording. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Ready? Uh, yeah. Three, two, one, go! Did you throw two rocks? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, was that an echo I heard? What if we uncovered? Oh my god. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go up there. Yeah, what about it? I don't know what it is. Let's go there. Is it the... No! Dude. What if it's an animal, bro? 
don't we don't want to be near it. What if it's a snake? Yeah, it's full weight. I thought you said go to it. No, I didn't say go to it. I said oh. my phone. Hey, oh. I said go away. Uh, I don't want to be there. Fucking animals. That was amazing though. The lake. Wow, so great. I'm gonna observe from up here where there's no snakes. No slithery snakes. Sneaky snake. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Wow. Yeah, I know. I know. You can see like the way the ice is, like where the, I th oh I think the ice ends. You see how it gets darker? Yeah. I think that's where the ice ends. What the fuck is that? What is that? <laughs> it doesn't sound heavy like walking. It feels like stuff dropping. Yeah. Oh, reality. Wait, what's the date today? Fifteenth. The 15th. January 15th. The year of our Lord. 20,000. 20, and 19. I can't see my breath. Oh, I can see yours because of the light. Yeah, I think the ice ends and there's like just nothing in the middle. That's shitty. That's that explains why they were stopping. Actually, no. Look, the light just keeps bouncing off of it only. It doesn't oh, yeah. move. So I guess... It's all frozen. Ugh, I guess it's, this is just a thick shit, and that's like. Do you hear that? The big thing of this. Oh, that broke. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. What do they sound like? They sound like a raccoon to me. It sounds like someone like making the noise of water drop. Like really? Oh, that's weird. Have you never heard that before? Dude? Like, what sound? Recreate it. I can't do it very well. Oh. Okay. Your door's locked. Waiting yeah, for Harry. Paired. Oh god, that was interesting. Yeah. Are you still recording? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, today is January 17th, 2019. Welcome to Patrick's Green Tea. Oh. Man, this... <laughs> it's been a long trek. I've been walking through the woods. And singing The Little Mermaid. Alright, I didn't know what to do. My first thing I did was uh, look up Part of Your World. Or Their World. By The Little Mermaid. Uh, not by, but in The Little Mermaid. Fucking Mermaid. And uh, sorry, I'm dodging sticks and stuff while I talk. Um, so I listened to the song. And, oh my god. That, that movie is literally like the tale of a siren. Like a medieval creature. Just set to like a cartoon. It's like pretty primitive technology. Pretty cheesy. But like the dead content is just this weird, you know, crazy mystical um, myth. But it's like a modern myth where we don't really like care that they're sea creatures or fucking Cybertron weird uh, Lego looking machines built from cars. Anything like that. Our, uh, our appreciation of fantasy myths never went away as a human species. Um, which is amazing. We just like to uh, consume them as cartoons now and like weird. I saw Transformers earlier this week. Uh, Bumblebee. That movie. And oh my god. It was a treasure. It was really good. I saw it high <clears throat> with my friend and oh my god 
like the story structure and everything was incredible the uh humor the the archetypes were all there the uh archetypal heroes archetypal maidens uh wizards all that they were all there and really well written as an archetypal story and because of that you know huh oh my god so right now <clears throat> oh my god there's a fucking beautiful portrait in front of me I stood on this rock waiting catch my breath and oh my god I'm looking at a frozen lake right now the shape is like Sly, Sly Cooper Spy Cooper the PS4 game for, uh, the PS2 game for the Thievius Raccoonus that logo, his head. So the water's in that shape. Right in front of me, like symmetrically. And slightly, slightly off center to my right. Looking straight into the frozen lake. With the sun beaming down on me in the real world and beaming down on me in the reflected world in the same angles from my eyes. I look across to the center of my vision. Straight, without moving up or down. Then I move down about... 35 degrees and there's a rainbow in the water and I look up at the same angle and there's a rainbow in the sky um, I've been waiting to see a rainbow since the summer man I've been waiting for a long time this is really powerful Oh my god. <laughs> Man. Last summer I saw a bunch of fucking rainbows, right? No, it was the summer before. When I was uh, in love for the first time. And I stayed seeing rainbows until about August of 2018. Two years. <clears throat> After August I fell out. And then I stopped seeing rainbows. That's so weird. And then today's the first day I've actually seen a rainbow <laughs> since then. Wow. I'm smiling so big right now. Boys, I think I'm in love. I can't keep steady notes. I don't even know what to do. It's so hard to do this. I think I'm falling in love with you. Think I'm falling in love with you. That could be cleaner, but anyway, I boom 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 think I'm falling, ba boom boom ba boo boo in love, boom ba boom 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 ba 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 da boom ba 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 da ba ba boom ba doom ba doom ba da doom we him boom boom ba doom think. We're falling in love. Oh, we think we're falling in love with you. Do 
That was fun. Ah. Wow. <laughs> what a fucking day I'm having. What a fucking what a fucking day I'm having, huh? I hope. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. I just feel an airtime. I Fuck, all right. I can't I can't sing and walk at the same time for too long. God damn. I feel like Bobby McFerrin, dude. Oh, what a huge inspiration he is to me. I love listening to his stuff. Oh, my God. It would be a dream come true of mine to sing or play anything with Bobby McFerrin before he dies. Oh, my God. What a man. His music. Oh. His probably style is the closest style, I think is to me and my like soul I guess it matches my wave expression perfectly ah oh, it's so good it's so good oh what a man he's so fucking good I learned so much from him he was my uh Elvis I guess when I was growing up in the 50s uh in terms of like my idol I don't know how many people idolized Elvis but you know if they did or uh fucking John Wayne you know that was Bobby McFerrin to me, among other people, but mostly him. Uh, in terms of singing, I guess, and expression. Also, John Mayer. He really helped with uh, me learning to express myself in, like, performances. And, like, not care about the guitar faces or the dancing. Because it's, like, it's my kind of dancing, my kind of, like, expression also there. In terms of performance. So I model my performance on stages after John Mayer's... Uh, what I pick up from John Mayer and then my singing and you know stuff like that I think I'm gonna model after Bobby McFerrin and Jimi Hendrix also Jimi Hendrix is my guitar guy Bobby McFerrin is my uh, I don't know composition guy in my head oh my god that rainbow dude ah oh, it's gone now I'm in a different spot different angle on the thing I might just go around the lake the other way or go to the other lake. I'm on the other lake. <laughs> Alright. How the fuck do we get back? Huh. Alright, you guys are going to have to forgive the constant hitting of the mic against the and my body. You can even hear that. The bass rumbling because I can in my ear. Um. Oh. Yes, I'm falling in love with you. Oh, yeah, I was taking The Little Mermaid. Anyway, back to that story. And, uh... I was, seeing, I was listening to it. And I did all the parts, the high parts. And then I just kept following her. And eventually, like, I got to the chorus. Like... That... And I was like, wait, I'm singing this right now? And I was like, I've never fucking sang that high, like, in my range, in my life. I don't know what notes what uh, notes those are, but oh my god. I've never been able to comfortably scream. Or, ah! Like, uh, I'm not going to sound like that. Oh! Even, I don't know. It feels like forever, like over a decade. 
and I haven't fucking been able to do that. Oh. Wow. Ooh. So yeah, I was off in that range. Ooh, 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 ooh. Around there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's like the bottom end. Ooh. And uh, I kept thinking her apart. And she came out of range and I was like, oh, I'm more comfortable in the lower range. And I was like, wait, what if I can just push this and just keep going high? See how, see how much higher I can go. So I just said, ooh, ooh, ooh. I kept going. Then I hit the next fucking five notes, whatever those are. I can't do those right now. I haven't been walking too much. I keep seeing the weird funguses on the roots judging me because I know they're sentient. Fuck you. Just kidding. I don't know whether to fuck you. Oh man, they look like fucking flying sauces. Mushrooms are the real aliens, bro. Mushrooms and, uh. Ah, uh, what else? That's the other thing. Oh, octopi. <laughs> Those octopi, octopuses, however you want to interpret it, it's octopi. How many of them fucking walking around? Definitely alien technology, like what the fuck? Uh, or like alien to us, not maybe not extraterrestrial, but still alien, you know? Is that a shotgun shell? What the fuck? Am I, on, am I still on the correct property here? <laughs> Shit. All right. I just walked past the shotgun shell. <laughs> If you couldn't tell. Um, fuck. Gotta be careful, I guess. Fuck. Ugh. I keep, I keep, the name Boo Radley keeps like popping into my head. <laughs> what book is he from? Boo Radley. Boo Radley. One of my fucking like Americana uh, textbooks I read as a kid for school that I had to read. Why did they make us read such like old timey American stuff? Because, like, even with all that, my perception of the, the that time frame is so scattered and, like, not consistent. But I guess that's, like, a good thing. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I, I hope I'm going the right way. I see road. I'm going the right way. Come on. Yes. Triumph. Ooh. Doing the breakfast club fucking... Leap. What song was that? Fuck. Breakfast Club. I how do I not know this? I'm like fucking like the ski the CD in my head is just spinning and not reading shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, hard drive work better. I do mean a hard disc, not a compact one. Uh, fucking what's it called? Don't you don't to not forget about me. Don't, 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 don't you oh, forget about me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to run a little bit. I don't know what this does to the audio. But you're going to have to deal with it. The fucking Patrick <laughs> running podcast. Hello. My name is Sergeant. <laughs> you will refer to me from that name. With that name from now on. I'm your sergeant instructor. You will listen to me. You will eat with me. Hopefully, you will not sleep with me. However, (laughs) should the chance arrive, you know. Just enlist in the Navy. Those people are for you. Anyway, I am Sergeant P. (laughs) I'm a sonic an idiot. Hopefully, no one heard that. Huh. <laughs> if someone heard all that, like while I was walking, it's like a weirdo. <laughs> okay. Huh. What did I even want to do? Every stick I see on the ground looks like a fucking snake. Like a little snake. I hate snakes. I do. I saw one like right about where I was standing right now. Um, where I'm standing right now. I saw one there. A few years ago. Ever since then, I see snakes everywhere. <laughs> it's really bad. Ah, God damn, that scared me. Looks like a snake. I've... Oh, don't judge me, fucking uh, listener. Don't you dare. Oh, I got enough judgment waiting for me. At the end of the line. To have all this judgment fucking scatter up 
in front of me now. Get what I'm saying? Ah, the trail marker on me, or next to me, to the right, looks like a shotgun shell too. Is that a warning? I'm not walking towards it. <laughs> Taking the other trail. I'll take that's how I'll take that warning. What the fuck? It's like a video game, bro. <sighs> I feel like I'm in a video game. Like what I'm describing is this weird story, you know, like I'm uh I'm living out my personal story, my like history solo. No one will ever I guess as far as I know, no one will ever experience it the same way I will right now as a conscious thing and me talking describing it is plotting it down into a, like a readable a readable line like i'm writing my own personal story when i record myself you know fuck that has a lot of implications <laughs> there's a tree stump looking at me right now not actually looking at me i'm looking at a tree stump right now <laughs> and it looks like fucking the devil. It has weird horns coming out of its head. Okay, so I'm not hallucinating, but that's like what the shape looks like. Like, I can look at any stick and be like, okay, it's a stick. But that specific spot where my eyes just immediately pointed to looks like the devil. Oh my god, that's where I am. Huh. Uh, the first day I came back last summer, I believe from my freshman year of college. Second day I got, I was back. I'm not going down this way. I, there's a tornado in my town, <laughs> which never gets tornadoes, like every three decades at the minimum. I probably even more than that. It's super rare, the Northeast, um, to get hurric- uh, fucking tornadoes. And even weirder that it just hit our specific spot in the middle of the state. That was weird. I don't know if it was a bad omen or what the fuck. I have no idea. Maybe an omen for my life, but probably not. It did cross, like, on my yard, but when I wasn't there. I didn't cross, like, right over me, though. I don't know. Anyway. Uh. <sighs> fuck. Tornado talk. Oh, yeah. The tornado happened. What do you hear right now? Like you, li- listening. Did you hear that? <laughs> First of all, like the silence is so loud. Like it's just nothing. Except for those noises, which is the ice cracking, which is the weirdest fucking noise I've ever heard in my life. And I'm so fucking... I heard this noise last night. And I recorded some audio of me throwing... Me and my friend throwing rocks into the ice to see what that noise was. It sounds like a fucking alien, dude. Or like a spaceship, you know? It's weird. The sound of ice cracking. I want to record that and use it as audio sampling in my future movies. It's like a long, slow drip is what it sounds like. Really fucking like scaled down weird effects on it. Long, long drip. Oh, so like the surface tension breaking. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Ice is so weird, dude. Like, seriously. I know it's the most stoner thing to say in my life. Dude, Ice, man. Fuck. Just think, just think about it. Ice. Like, fuck, it blows my mind, man. All right, I'm going to calm down. But seriously, it is. There's a frozen fucking mushroom in the ice looking at me right now. A huge mushroom. What the fuck? Is that a mushroom? I swear to God, they're talking to me. They're like, they're like checkpoints in the, the video game of my life. What the fuck? I want to consume you one day. Not maybe you, because you're frozen and probably dead. I don't know. I was talking about mushrooms yesterday, two days ago. Like the concept of fungus where it feeds off of decay. That's such a weird prospect. Maybe when the universe decays or like goes back to uh, 
nothing and is eradicated. That's what they feed off of. Yeah, they're like made of negative energy or something. I don't know. How, okay, all right. Maybe I'm just like fucking blowing this out of proportion. What is the scientific meaning of of mushroom uh, feeds on decay? Because like, <laughs> there must be some like rational explanation of this that I'm just missing and way like putting out of proportion to like mess with the stoners. I just want to know. Man, this tree is dead. But it's like still kind of alive. Its limbs are still... Nah, it's dead. What the fuck? Wood is weird. <laughs> I'm stepping on a stick and it's not breaking. And it sounds so weird. As I'm cracking it, I don't know. I'm obsessed with sounds now. As a sound engineer with a job at NYU, sound engine, uh, fucking one of the floors that do the sound engineering as a sound TA. That's my life right now. When I go back to school, I'm going to be doing sound TA work. So. Huh. I'm going to check my phone real quick. Forgive me. Oy. Mike Tyson just appeared on Joe Rogan's podcast. Awesome. I'm going to try something. But I'm going to end this podcast and try it on another recording. So forgive me. Uh, I'll come back. Bye. Yeah, you can't do this at the same time. Shit. Come on, come on, baby. Listen to me, baby. It treats me like to Rasta. I want to treat you like a Rasta. Do treat me like a Rasta. Treat me like a Rasta. Do 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 Give me a sec. I need to go to the back of my vehicle to do this shit. Oh, God. The back of my fucking car I'm at right now. Shit. Why the hell am I doing this? Just why the hell do you think you're doing this? <laughs> I want to treat you like a Rasta. Come on, baby, Rasta. I want you to treat me like a Rasta. I want you to treat me like a Rasta. I want you to treat me like a Rasta. I want you to treat, want you to treat, want you to do that, do that. Baby, 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 treat me like a Rasta. I want you to treat me as fuck. All right. Sorry. Ugh. Going on here. My pop came out of its fucking rap. That ain't cool. That ain't fucking cool at all. Alright? I want you to remember what you fucking did to me. You little temperamental shit. God damn it. I am the one in charge in this household. Alright? Damn. God damn it. You're going to listen to me. All right, that's enough of that. (laughs) Oh, God, come on. We got, what pick we got? We got fucking insert advertiser here. (laughs) No, we got a Dunlop USA 60 millimeter. Oh, God, I'm not actually advertised by Dunlop, but I'm not advertised by Dunlop. But, uh, no, I'm just kidding. All right. Oh my God, I'm going to stay in drug deal, bro. <laughs> There's a drug deal happening right in front of me.
yeah, they're, they're doing their shit. Doing their dirty shit in my woods. Officer, thank you. They're they're doing shit behind their hood, so I can't see. Oh my god, that's so genius. One of them is parked towards me, in front of the car facing me. The trunk is faced away from me. Oh, they're trading hockey gear. Yeah, okay. Oh, they're going. Skating? What the fuck? They're going to stay on, skate on this ice? They're going to fucking die. I hope this isn't like the actual death of one of them. Holy fuck, dude. They're going out there. The ice is only three inches thick towards the edges and it gets a lot thinner. Oh my god, they're going to try to skate on this ice. Maybe I'll just walk outside and follow them and see what them, serve them and record them on the podcast without them knowing. Hello, thanks for listening to the podcast. You can find me at Patrick Screen Tea on Patreon, Discord, Spotify, YouTube, Twitch, and Bandcamp, Patrick Screen Tea Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, TuneIn, Stitcher, and Instagram, at Patrick Green Tea without an S on Twitter. Supplemental materials like photos and text are available on our website, patrickscreentea.com. You can join our subreddit at r slash Patrick Screen Tea. You can make comments on YouTube and on the website, and you can contact me directly at patrickscreentea at gmail.com. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day.